What's up, YouTube? This is Dragon, and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, let's get to the battle at hand. Now, as we begin this battle, I have made a good analysis of what my opponent might have been using first, and I also have a very interesting and new Pokemon that I'll be showing you today. So, let's see. Okay, it's Swampert. Now, uh, I wanted, yes, 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 the new Pokemon is Crocodile, and I wanted to choose this Pokemon first because it can intimidate whoever he sent out, but at the same time, there was a bit of a cost because I'll have to deal with switching out to another Pokemon, so, for instance, like, I had a feeling that he might choose this Pokemon first, so... If he chose another Pokemon, then I would be able to go into my Ferrothorn right afterwards while this while this Swampert, potentially a Mega Swampert, is intimidated. Which is the best possible thing I can do. Okay, Stealth Rocks. That's fine. Now, I do have Crobat on this particular... Wait, do I have Crobat on this team? Let me check. Yes, now I have Crobat on this team, so that might be a slight bit of a problem. But... Yeah, I don't want to get hit with Hidden Power Fire, nor do I want to go... There's nothing this Swampert can really do to me. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing this Swampert can really do to me, unless it's like Earthquake or something, so... I'm going to see what he does first, but what I'm going to do right now... Yes. I believe the best thing I can do... Best move I can do is Leech Seed, because that covers that covers his options. He might go into the Superior, but at the same time he might have a Heatran. But I at least want to be, I, I at least want to have Leech Seed. There it is. I wanted to have Leech Seed just in case he went to the Heatran as I switch into my Crocodile or another Pokemon potentially. Okay. There we go. So, he's most likely going to use a fire move, and, ooh, this is really hard. Best thing I can do now is protect, just in case. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use protect so I can see what my opponent does. Okay. Toxic. Okay, so he's that type. Well, that's another 12% going back to me. So, hmm. I have a feeling my opponent, let's see, earthquake, earthquake. He has a superior. He either has a Superior, Salamence, or Sylveon, or Gengar. I'm going to have to go into my Crocodile because, I mean, this guy, he's got Toxic. So it looks like it might be one of those specially defensive Heatrans that I have to take a double glance at. All right, Intimidation. Let's see, Magma Storm. Woo! He goes for the goal. I don't think my... Actually, I hope it's just purely specially defensive. Okay. Leftovers. Okay, so I got just a little bit of health back. Okay, so he's the trapping type. Okay, that's cool. So now... I'm going to go for the Earthquake, because that is the best possible play. Actually, <clears throat> he knows I'm going to go for the Earthquake. So... What, what would be a better play here? Earthquake would be the best play in this situation. Okay, so now I'm now I'll know if he has a flying type or what. Okay, he goes back into his Swampert. Good, I'm glad I did the Earthquake. 
Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna be like a three hit KO. Huh. <sighs> Alright. So my opponent he knows that I might go back into my Ferrothorn. Which would be a bit of an issue. And it doesn't look like he has too much of an answer for this Pokemon. Hmm. I don't want to. Also, I don't want to risk going back into my Crobat because. Hmm. At the same time, I don't want to be too obvious. I just hope my opponent doesn't predict and then just did a double switch. Okay. Ooh, he used Surf. Alright. That feels good. That That is such a relief. You have no idea. But now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to predict my opponent to go back into Heatran. So now I'm going to double switch back into my Crocodile. Okay, my opponent withdraws. And back into the Heatran he goes. All right. Whew. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So now if he goes back into a Swampert, I'll guaranteed be able to three hit, uh, two hit KO him from that range, which feels quite good. Protect won't make a difference. Okay, he's just stalling so he can get a, get a little bit of leftovers. This Pokemon is my win condition. I need this Pokemon to stay alive. Otherwise, this this um this uh, Heatran is gonna wall my whole team. So he's gonna withdraw and let's see who he goes into. Okay, he goes back into the Swampert. Let's see, is it a 3 hit KO or is it not? How much damage is that does? Nope. Ah, uh, Citrus Berry. <sighs> Man. Oh god, I don't know how to feel right now. Now he might be predicting me to switch but I, I need I need this Pokemon to stay alive he must stay alive there is no ifs ands or buts about it this Pokemon must be alive okay I'm gonna do something kind of obvious and I'm gonna go back into my Ferrothorn my opponent has nothing to lose by using Surf so Okay. Roar! Please go into Crobat. Come on, Crobat. Aw, oh, you would go into this Pokemon. You would. Man. Okay, maybe my opponent feels that I might go into... But why would he roar? That is so... But you know what? He feels that I'm going to switch, so why not go for the Earthquake again? I'm gonna be that guy. Hopefully, he, he doesn't just go straight for the Surf. Yawn! Okay! Alright! So I did just a little bit more damage on that Swampert. And of course I have absolutely no choice but to go for the Ferrothorn switching from here. Oh man, like <laughs> oh god. This battle is filled with so much risk, it's ridiculous. Okay. Alright, he goes for the double yawn. Hmm, if I were my opponent, what would I do in this situation? 
I might, I wouldn't go for uh, Roar because that's ridiculous. But at the same time, you know what I would do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double switch. I'm gonna double switch. Wait, no, 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 no. He used Yawn on me, so I'm more into the defensive position. So my opponent doesn't feel that compelled to switch. Because he was, in a sense, expecting this. I don't know his last Pokemon, and I know for sure I'll need my Crobat to do a little bit of extra damage. So, I'm going to throw out a Leech Seed. Okay, you surf. So that was a good choice by me to not switch because that would have definitely sealed my fate. Okay, now putting an extra Leech Seed on that Swampert is going to guarantee me, uh, is going to guarantee the next Earthquake. And that's if he decides to stay in or switch or whatever the case may be. Okay, so now I'm asleep. Doesn't really, doesn't really mean that much, mean, blah, doesn't mean that much to me at the moment. Okay, so, let's see, I'm asleep now, my opponent has free reign to do as he pleases, but what will he do? What will my opponent do? What is he thinking about? Wait a minute, um, he wants me to go to sleep, for sure. Damn. Alright, I'm, I'm asleep, I'm gonna see what my opponent does now. Okay, he withdraws. Hopefully he goes into the Heatran, because if he goes into a Pokemon that could potentially set up, okay. He goes into the Heatran. That's good. So now I hope he... I, obviously I can't switch at this moment, because he's going to go straight for the Magma Storm. So, that's going to be a thing. So I'm going to have to let my Ferrothorn die unfortunately Whew, boy and he goes for a substitute ah oh, man that sucks that sucks wow that substitute really just made it like damn that substitute sealed my fate in a sense alright so, Substitute, Protect, Toxic, Magma Storm. Hmm. Okay, Magma Storm only has 75% accuracy. So, maybe my Crobat can hit him twice. I'm not sure. And then, you know, the first... Ma I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty intense. I think my opponent most likely would have this battle. Magma Storm does have terrible accuracy though. Like, see, that's that's his third Magma Storm right there. And that still missed. It's like trying to hit me with Focus Blast. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because it has such low accuracy, okay, you guys are going to see what I'm going to do later, but my, okay, avoided the attack again. This is, this is just, it's exactly like trying to hit Focus Blast. It's exactly like it. Not very effective. Okay, that's good. In a weird, ominous sense, I hope... Actually, I hope I hit the gyro ball here. Okay. Maybe I can... No, no, no. I don't think I can live a magma storm. That's that's ridiculous. I'm asking for too much. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that That's a magma storm against a ferrothorn, no. Oh, okay, and it was critical, but it really didn't matter. That was death. Like, inevitable death. Okay. So, huh. 
Huh. <sighs> okay. Now, I have... Uh, wait. Do I have it on this Pokemon? I don't think I... Yeah, aw, oh, man. I, I feel really silly right now. I was supposed to put a Chesto Berry on this Pokemon, and this Pokemon has rest. But now I can't use it because I... I put a wide lens on it because of Stone Edge for some silly reason. Anyway, I'm hoping that I'll be able to... Uh, yeah, darn. Okay, well, maybe he won't go for the Toxic. And maybe his Magma Storm might miss? Magma Storm? And, oh, no, he hits me. Yeah. Man. Ah, oh, man. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely saw that coming. Definitely saw that coming. Okay, so now the only thing I can hope for is uh, Choice Banded Brave Bird doing a lot of damage to this Heatran. I doubt it will do that much damage, especially having to deal with the Magma Storm and me doing all that much damage to myself. So, okay, I avoided the attack. And he is healing himself with leftovers, so. If anything, look, I did what, 61 damage to myself? Yeah. It doesn't matter. As soon as I Brave Bird him two more times, I'm going to die. And then I'm betting against him hitting a Magma Storm, so that's not going to go too well. Kind of miss my Mega Blastoise at this moment. Yeah, that's definitely going to destroy my Crobat. Yeah. Oh well. Ah. Huh. What could I have done in that situation? Well, let's see. I could have... I could have had my Mega Blastoise like I do have sometimes. And... Heck, I could have had a Mega Kangaskhan. That would <laughs> that would have worked well. But, uh, you know. What can I say? It was... That was an interesting battle. I, I got to learn something new. Um, dealing with the substitute... Protect Toxic Magma Storm Heatran. Hmm. I remember dealing with that Pokemon back in the fourth generation, and my solution to that was to have like a huge offensive water type that or some or Pokemon like Suicune for instance, right? So Suicune it can it can use um like Calm Mind, Rest, Sleep Talk, and Scald. And that Pokemon can't be touched by Heatran, right? So, like, for instance, let's say his Swampert was trying to kill me. His Swampert wouldn't be able to kill me either because I would have been able to Scald it, and then he wouldn't have been able to get past my Suicune's defenses, especially after being burned by Scald. So, yeah, there's a lot of ways to get past that Pokemon, but unfortunately, I didn't have the Pokemon to be able to do it. Nonetheless, I enjoyed that battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.